module nine congratulations everybody you've made it to the end of the course this is our last week um it's going to be a shorter module we're going to be talking about heat transfer and temperature and so it's going to be on the shorter end just because we have the third exam as well as the final exam um, on the final exam you're not going to be tested on this material but it's still important especially if you're going on to the second semester of physics uh, because some of these concepts are going to carry over to the second semester so it's important to to still go through the module like we've done every other module you, you all been working so hard and i really appreciate it so just kind of keep keep pushing on through it's a shorter one you should be able to get through this module in a couple days um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started i've got a couple of tools here you're probably thinking i'm going crazy after nine weeks or eight weeks whatever we, we're in right now um, why do I have these here and what does this have to do with heat and temperature? So I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but I've got a metal spoon and a wooden spoon. Have you all ever felt holding on to these that they feel like different temperatures? Specifically, the metal one feels colder than the wooden one. And why is that? Uh, the other flip side that you might experience in your home is if you have tile flooring and then you go to like a wooden floor or a carpet, why does the tile floor feel colder than the wood floor or the carpet? And the reason why, it has to do with this idea of heat transfer. It doesn't have, doesn't, it isn't that these objects have different temperatures. It's that they transfer heat differently. So I'm going to flip this around so we can start looking at um, the physics principles so that we can understand why is it that one feels colder than the other, even though they're both in the same room. They both have the same temperature. This whole room has some temperature. The objects in the room have the same temperature. So they both have the same temperature, but they feel colder. So we're going to look at the physics principles to help us explain why that is. So heat is just a, an extension of module six. So in module six, we talked about conservation of energy. And many of you asked about other forms of energy. And so some people asked about um, chemical potential energy. Some people kind of got on this track of what we call thermal energy. And then there's also electrical potential energy, which is a very big topic in the second semester of physics. So back to this idea of heat. Heat is just the concept of the transfer of thermal energy. So thermal energy is being transferred from one system or object to another system or object. And so this is the principle of what we're feeling when we have the spoons or we're walking on different types of flooring. It is the transfer of heat from one object, the floor, the spoon, to another object, either our foot or our hand. So it's not that the temperature is different. It's that one object's transferring heat or thermal energy to another object. And so that's what this, uh, this little diagram down here is, is kind of portraying is we have this fire and then we have all the molecules making up the glass rod and then we have our hand on the glass rod. And so the energy, you can see we have a lot of thermal energy over here on the right hand side 
And that is subsequently transferring that thermal energy towards the left, towards these molecules that have a lower temperature. And so it's transferring this, this energy to increase the temperature further down the glass rod. And so for heat, the equation for heat is equal to the mass m c the specific heat of an object and the change in temperature of the object so q is heat m is mass of object c is the specific heat Basically, how easy is it to, to transfer heat in this type of object? And then delta T is the change in temperature. So let's just draw a little picture to remind ourselves. So we have um, got our hand here. Uh, we've got the spoon happening here. So let's think about why uh, why it would feel colder. And so let's take a look at this equation. So the temperature difference between the hand and both spoons, the metal and wooden spoons, those are the same. So the spoons have the same temperature. They're in the same room. They must have the same temperature. Our hand has the same temperature for both. So it can't be the change or a difference in temperature. Could be the mass. I mean, they do have slightly different masses. Um, but say, say you had two spoons, different materials, but the same mass. Um, you know, those, those spoons were pretty close. So let's assume that that is the case. They have the same mass or roughly the same mass. Uh, then we're left with this idea of specific heat. And so specific heat is, again, how easily a material transfers heat. And so that's where the difference lies, is metal transfers heat easily. Wood, less so. And we have experience with this. Um, you know, do we cook in metal or do we cook in wooden pots or do we cook on metal pots? And the reason why that is is because metal easily transfers heat. So it takes the burner, the heat of the burner on your stove, that transfers into the pot easily because it's metal. And then that transfers it to your food. And so that's where the difference lies. And so it's not that they have a difference in temperature. It's that they transfer heat easier. So heat from your hand is leaving. So heat is leaving because heat goes from high to low. So that's how heat transfers. It tra transfers from high to low. So heat's leaving your hand and going into the spoon. That heat gets transferred a lot quick quicker in a metal spoon. So that is what appears as it being colder. Your hand is losing heat faster. So you feel as if it is colder because you're losing heat from your hand a lot faster than say for a wooden spoon. And so that's the difference. So this is kind of similar to how momentum was, where our conception of momentum is we look at a dump truck or a tractor trailer driving down the road, and then we say, man, that thing has a lot of momentum. Uh, what we're 
really thinking is, man, that has a lot of mass. That's a really big, you know, big vehicle. So this is where our everyday language broke down in that scenario where momentum is actually the mass and the velocity combined, not just something that's very massive. Uh, same sort of thing here is that we think of um, things being hot or cold in terms of temperature when in fact we when in fact we need to think about them in terms of heat from a physics standpoint. Um, the transfer of heat is what determines uh, whether something is hot or cold. That's what we feel. We feel heat. Feel heat, not temperature. So that's where we can get get kind of caught in our everyday language um, when it doesn't necessarily match up with how we talk about things in terms of physics. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, we've got the learning objectives for module nine. Um, again, it's just going to be pretty, pretty straightforward. We're, we're going to do some conversions between different temperature units. Then we're going to be talking about uh, specific heat dealing with energy, thermal energy transfer, heat transfer between two objects and just calculating heat for different types of materials, kind of like what we just talked about on the previous slide.